Hi Taurus, this is your monthly reading. Let's take a spirit animal oracle. And just so you know, these are pre-shuffled and see what animal you get today. Okay. You have the swan spirit. Time for a deep dive. Right there. Take a few cards. See what they have to say. I hope you're doing well. Whoa, boy. one just came out, didn't it? The temperance. Get a few more. Another one just fell out. The Eight of Swords. Let's get one more. And if you like this, well, there we go. We have it. The Page of Swords. If you like this video, please give it a like, share, and subscribe if you'd like to. Okay, what we have for you is the Temperance card, the Six of Swords, the Page of Swords, and the Five of Cups. And temperance is all about harmony and balance. You can see she's got one foot in the water and one foot touching the land. And that's kind of her way of saying that she's in harmony. And she's discovering how to create balance and harmony finding alignment and a sense of peace with her external surroundings. And now, mind you, these are um, energies, not genders, okay? And your next card is the Six of Swords. And every time I see this card, it I just keep thinking about the saying, the grass is greener on the other side. And in this case, that is true. The grass is greener on the other side. And that's what you're going for. All right? You are going to the other side that serves you. All right? And then you have the Page of Swords. And pages are young, energetic, just loving the idea of learning. And this particular page is learning how to think clearly and communicate with authenticity. All right. Now it's <laughs> thought of as probably the naughtiest of the pages, but because they're curious, strong willed, high spirited. They might like to buck the system a little, but they are logical and intellectual and communication is one of their strong suits. And now on to the Five of Cups. The Five of Cups, this man, again, energy, is looking at these Three of Cups that are spilled and not these two behind him. And it could be something that's been very upsetting, traumatic, heartbreaking, who knows? Well, you would know, potentially. But if he would just turn around and look at those two cups that are full, he would see the bridge that leads to the castle, his happiness. So that's what he needs to do is just turn around and look. 
So what I'm seeing so far is this is what's going on. You're looking at those three of cups that are spilled. You need to turn around and look at these two. And it could potentially mean that you need to make a move. It could be literal or it could be your thoughts. It could be a variety of things, but you need to go where the grass is greener, where you have the opportunity, the happiness, potential. And use your page of swords and get your temperance in line, your balance and harmony, and things will work out much better. Okay, let me read to you about the swan spirit. Time for a deep dive which is number 60. With their graceful long necks, swans are able to reach into the depths. When swan spirit arrives, you are called to take a deep dive beyond what is easily available on the surface. You may think you know what is best for you now, but take the plunge into the depths of your awareness, for there is knowledge you are not aware of, and great treasures to discover. Deeper understanding awaits you, and a perspective that comes from greater self-knowledge is what you need right now to better understand the situation or relationship. As you come to know yourself more intimately, so too will you come to better know others. So Swan Spirit asks you to go beyond the surface of what is happening between you and others, and resist the temptation to judge by superficial appearances. Know there is much deeper potential for loving relationships, forgiveness, and mutual understanding. Choose to dive deep into your why, asking the deeper questions of yourself. You are led by the grace of Swan Spirit. And that sure does seem like it kind of fits a lot with these cards that are already out. But let's go a little bit deeper, okay? Take a few more cards. And now, this is a general reading, so um, just take with you what you feel is yours. If it doesn't resonate with you, just leave it behind. Oh, no, can't take that. There's too many that flipped over. Okay, there's, oh dear, we have a tower. What else? Oh, great. The Nine of Cups. One more card. One more time. And the Knight of Cups. And at the bottom of the deck, we have the Four of Swords. Okay, now the Tower, this can be something that's really pretty big and important, but it could also be something very small. It could be something you're totally unaware of, and it could be something that is in your thoughts. So the tower can be anything. What it is is a sudden change. Now you see this person here is diving out, and this person here is either getting pushed out, fell out, something. So you should do yourself a favor and just go ahead and jump on out that window. <laughs> you know, get it going so it can be done and over with. Now with the towers, it's going to be an ending of some sort, which of course makes the beginning of something. And towers can be very good things. They can be self-imposed. For example, say if you want to change your career, 
you might create a tower moment in order to make that happen. You would know much better than I do what's going on in your life. But I'm just trying to tell you, there's no need to be scared of a tower. They are for your benefit and they can easily be self-imposed. Okay, and here we have the Nine of Cups. It's a wonderful card. It's being very satisfied and happy and abundant with yourself. You know, feeling great. So that is awesome. And then we have the Nine of Knight, sorry, Knight of Cups. It sounded like I said nine. And what the Knight of Cups is about is that they are romantic and charming and in love with love. They wear their heart on their sleeve. They thrive on all things beautiful and are inspired by the many creative outlets that are available to them. And then here you have the Four of Swords. And that is about taking a rest. You've reached, according to the way this says, your first milestone. And now you need to recharge your energy before the next phase begins. Take a break, clear your mind, meditate, just get ready for the next, I don't know if I want to say start, but the next part of your journey. Okay. So let's see if we can kind of put this together a little bit. You're having a challenging or were having a challenging time. Seeing the spilled cups instead of what is behind you and what is behind you leads to your happiness. And I think the way this is reading is that that might be what is creating the tower moment for you. So then you go ahead, turn around and you see those two beautiful cups and you go forward to reach them. Maybe instead of taking the bridge, you take a raft across the water there. I don't know. And you use your enthusiasm from the Page of Swords. They're, like I said, young and vibrant. And you use the energy of your Knight of Cups, which is filled with love. and balance and harmony to create your Nine of Cups. And then you take a rest, a well needed earned rest. But so there's something that is going on that is either not in your best interest or was hurtful and creates a tower moment, but you get past it with love, enthusiasm, balance, and harmony. And that leads you to your Nine of Cups, which is beautiful. And I think the Swan Spirit fits in very well. The Deep Dive, which is obviously what's going on here. Let's go ahead and see if the universe would like to say something. I'm planning on taking one card, but sometimes the universe has other ideas and we go with whatever the universe wants. And you might check out your sun, moon, and rising signs for a more complete picture. Okay, let's see what we've got strength. I think that's a beautiful card to get. Coupled with all of these, you know, this complete story, strength. The strength is subtle. She is subtle, reserved. The lion is fierce. 
and they join together as one, as a unit. She, being energy, not gender, is very, very strong. Just because she might not appear to be like a fierce lion does not mean she is not. It just means that she proceeds in a more restrained fashion. But this strength will get you through any problems that you may experience along this path of yours that you're taking. Okay? That's all I have except for... Well, no, I guess that's not all I have. I have two more things. This month I wanted to take a divine door. And I think these images are just gorgeous. And they have some... It's a combination of good advice, whimsical advice, a few things I don't even understand yet, still trying to figure out. But let's see what we get for you. I'll take this one. Oops. This one kind of wants to come out too, doesn't it? Okay. The Sacred Lotus and the Three-Eyed Raven. The Sacred Lotus says... Compassion in action, the chosen tool. I see now the lotus in your spirit's jewel. I think that's beautiful. And the three-eyed raven. As sunrise hits upon the dew, a messenger raven calls out with news. Prepare for the unexpected. That really kind of fits in well with your reading, I think. Okay, we'll put those here. And one last thing, one of my favorites, is taking a charm. And I really have no idea what I get till I get it. Ah, you have a padlock that's in the shape of a heart. You will be able to get through this. You have the key. And you will be doing it with love. Knight of Cups. So you're strong enough to open it up and do it with love. Let me move this out of the way of the Nine of Cups there. <laughs> okay. I hope you have a wonderful month. Love and light. Take care. Bye.